Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back, I've been gone a while. What had happened was I started watching Game of Thrones and it pretty much took over my life. Um, was, I literally watched the whole eight seasons in like two months, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, I decided today that I was going to film. I've been feeling a little bit uninspired to film recently, no idea why. I just literally thought of sitting down and doing makeup, like anything beyond the wash of a brown matte and the crease, a little fluffy brow and base is kind of like a lot right now. Um, don't know why, I just kind of feel like maybe I'm having a little bit of a rut, but today I'm going to force myself out of it. And today, what better way than to play with some new makeup? So I seen online, Revolution had come out with these collaboration palettes with Rachel Leary who is a British YouTuber so obviously need to support our fellow Brits right and she brought out two palettes and they're really really cool you've got the Goddess on the Go which is a little mini and the Ultimate Goddess palette which is the Big Bad Boss palette the small one's £10, big one's £15 and I'll show you what's inside because they're really cool first up can we talk about the packaging I really like this kind of like matte neon vibe we've got going with the shimmery writing really different from Revolution and I was thinking it's really not like them to have that inside the smaller one you've got a nice kind of variety of warm toned shades so you've got all your kind of warm mattes and shimmers and you've got some face, pa face powders here as well so you've got a bronzer a highlighter, a kind of shimmery bronzer or deep highlighter and then this pink, pink blush. So this one's really nice. Happy we've got a mirror. A big mirror always comes in handy. If you thought that mirror was big. When you move on to the Ultimate Goddess palette, this one which is £15. And beautiful kind of turquoise teal colour which is my favourite. You've got a mirror that like you would never need another mirror in your life, it's huge, it's amazing, thank god. And this one has got, again, more face powders, you've got nine here, so you've still got three highlighters, like a golden one, a yellow one, and a white one. You have got blushers, three, so you've got three blushers here as well, and three bronzers, two matte and one kind of shimmery one, like the shimmery bronzers, you know that I like a bit of a glow to the skin, so they were very excited to... So I was very excited to see them. And um, we've also got a much bigger eye palette here. So rather than nine, you have got 16. They're a little bit smaller than the ones you get in the small palette. So the bigger palette has more shadows, but they are slightly smaller pan sizes. But you've still got your nice warm mattes. You've got some pinks, you've got some other warm browns. You've got a really cool red and you've got some shimmers, including a pop of teal, which you guys know I like. So I thought today I would sit down and do my makeup. This is a look that came out. So it's a nice kind of burgundy brownie pinky look because I wanted to do something different than the usual warm browns which is what you guys know I do all the time so I was trying to be good and change it up a little bit if you haven't hit subscribe please 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 hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button below I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers which is mental because I literally post once in a blue moon so I would love to get there soon um, and yeah if you want to see how this look came together then just keep watching Okay, so I've already done my base off camera because I wanted the focus of this look to be on the kind of Rachel Lee collection. Um, as you've seen in my intro the palettes, I've got some really nice face and eye products. So what I thought I'd do is just finish off my base first um, using those nice bronzer shades and then we will go in and do the eyes. So bronzer wise, I'm not sure how much these are going to show up. So I'm going to start off with a lighter one here called Bronze, And I'm going to just load my brush up with this first. And we're going to see how this one goes on before we add in too dark. I can use this big mirror for my makeup. This is quite a fair bronzer. Mm, it's adding a little bit of warmth. Yeah, it's nice. Pigmentation wise, it's nice. It's not too cakey, which I like. I don't often like an overly pigmented bronzer. I think it's better to get one that you can build up slowly and get your kind of bronze how you like it rather than going in straight in with something that's hella pigmented and then you're like oh I can't blend that out and it's going to cling to my foundation and stuff so that's a really nice kind of softer bronzer yeah 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 so I think I want the bronzer to be a little bit darker so I'm going to mix in some more bronze with the shade indulge and just see if that kind of gives it a little bit more warmth yes Two of them mixed together is actually a really nice bronzer shade. It's giving my cheeks a really nice kind of dusting of warmth, which I really like. 
And then I'm going to dip into a little bit of this shade Caramel Slice and use that more for contouring as it seemed a little bit more of that kind of contour colour. Okay, that one's pigmented. That one's actually a lot more pigmented than I expected. It's really, really dark. So I think this one best used on a bigger brush. I don't know why, I just thought I'll sweep over to my kind of smaller contour brush to do. Um, so it's nothing we can't blend out, so it's okay. I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush and just kind of sweep it down the sides of my nose just to run the nose. I feel like I am kind of at that phase in my life where I'm kind of over the full drawn lines in my nose. I like to just take a little bit of bronzer over my nose and then I'll carve it out with some like loose powder and snatch it that way and then it's not like I'm going to have lines, it's still nice and soft and defined. So I know this isn't part of the Rachel Leary collection, but I did pick up the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded. These are meant to be a dupe for the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, so I thought I'd give it a little try because I love to set my face in a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish nowadays in the shade Global Glow. I know it's meant to look like a shimmery bronzer, but it gives your skin the nicest, most kind of wet look. It's like dewy when you can still wear your full coverage, so it's right up my street. So I thought we'll try some of this and see if it's the same kind of finish. I really was going to keep this and do like a dupes versus high end type situation but I just thought let's try it while it's here and see how it goes on. I like the finish of a mineralized skin finish so hopefully these are the same. Oh I like that and that's nice for toning down the bronzer. Yes. Yeah I like that one a lot. That looks really nice. I'm going to go on to a blusher now. Blusher brush. Guys, the struggle is real to find clean brushes right now. She's done some shimmery bronzers now. As a fan of Rachel Leary, I appreciate her love for a good shimmery bronzer. It is something that I love in life. A nice, glowy, shimmery, golden J-Lo bronzer just to merge your contour and your highlight together. I am here for it. And she has got two. In the smaller of the palettes, the Goddess and the Goddess, we've got this lovely one here called Golden Hour, which is really nice. And then, in the mega babe huge ultimate goddess palette you've got this lovely one here called bronze glow which looks a little bit darker so i think we'll try this one first now i don't think you'll ever meet anyone in your life as obsessed with the shimmery bronzers as me and there is good reason for that do you see that stop at once so before i highlight i'm just taking this revolution essence mist this is the hyaluronic one Hyaluronic Essence Hydrating Setting Spray and I'm just using that to mist my face to obviously mix together all the powders that I used on my skin and just kind of get my face a little bit more wet ready for highlight because as you guys know there is nothing worse than trying to get a blinding highlight when your skin is already dry and matte. You want it to be a little bit wet, a little bit tacky so that it really grips the highlighter and makes it go on super super wet looking and super super yeah. Sorry I'm making up for lost time on these tongue pops guys sorry. Okay. I'm not sure what highlighter to use. There's a couple of ones in these palettes. There's different options in both. Um, looking at them so far, I like the look of the Get It Poppin' because I like to get it poppin'. And Aphrodite and a little bit of glazed on top. So yeah, I think we'll do that first. There's different options for highlighter in both palettes. I am going to start off by using the shades Get It Poppin'. And this shade, I think she named it after me. Um, I'm going to use that shade first and we'll see how this one looks to highlight the cheeks with. Oh, I won't lie, normally I'm not, okay I won't lie, normally the formula that Revolution used for their highlighters is not the one that I rush out and buy, but this, it's safe to say that it is getting it popping, that is, that is a sick highlighter, that looks popping, so yeah we like that. As you guys know, I like to go over the kind of edges of my highlighter just to blend it in with my bronzer brush. That's what I'm going to do now. I just don't want it to look too like, hi, here's a stripe of highlighter sitting in my skin with no blend. That's not what we're going for. And then I'm going to dip back over to my blush brush. I'm going to go back over to the blush. I'm going to go in with this shade Golden Hour, which is the lighter of her two shimmery bronzers, and just run that up the cheeks as well, just to help blend because I could go in with a blusher, but it's just not my thing. But I do think that she's done a great job with that get it popping highlighter but obviously I'm biased because that name is just a little bit of me. For my last highlighter I'm going to use a little bit of this shade Glaze because it looks insane and I'm going to do a tap of that just right on the high points of my cheeks. I've seen her use this on her tutorials and it looked really nice just to add a little bit of oomph to the look. 
those highlighters are definitely a winner. They are so nice. And um, what do I want to do now? And we're just going to take some more of the Get It Poppin' and snatch the nose with highlighter as this is the key to all success in life. So okay, so I've popped on a little bit of those powder just to chisel out the cheekbones and the nose so that when we're doing the eyes, my face can get extra snatched so that this highlight is done to its true justice because as I'm sure you can agree, the glow to my skin is not real. I am obsessed with the glow. I really like the face product so far, so let's see how the eyes hold up. I've already went ahead and primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden and for the eyes, I'm not really sure what I want to do well, obviously I would like to do like a, a bronzy, warm, brown, smoky eye as the palette is heavily led to those kind of tones. But I think we've seen enough of that from me for the last little while. So let's do some colour. I think we could do some sort of like plummy purpley looks because there's some nice kind of reds and plums in both these palettes. Um, I think actually I'm going to do quite a lot of the colours from this bigger palette here. Um, this is the Ultimate Goddess and I'm thinking if I use like the purple purple, the pink, this kind of red colour here and kind of smoke them out, that will be really nice. So we'll see how we go on with that. So I'm going to just start off with a kind of brush. So let's start off with a kind of medium colour. I'm going to load up a brush with this shade here. So, this, this palette is really hard to hold up by the way. There we go. So I'm going to just start off using this shade here, 666. You know that I like to kind of stamp down and then blend out. I think it gives me much better control over the shape and it gives me much more of a kind of guide as to where a shadow's going to sit because I've got really hooded eyes so if I open my eyes and I can't see the shadow then I put it way down too low. I'm actually really impressed with the formula of these shadows. Sometimes I find the revolution of shadows, if we're being honest, they can be a little bit hit or miss just depending on what palette you buy but this one so far is actually picking up really nicely. This is a really nice colour. And then I'm just taking the exact same shade on a big fluffy brush this is a long comb number 17, my favourite. I don't think you can actually buy it anymore. And I'm just going to start to blend that out and make that my kind of crease transition colour. Okay, so my camera overheated. This room is far too warm, so I'm going to just switch over to voiceover mode so I can have the window open. Um, I'm just repeating the same steps with those shades, so I'm going back in with more of that 666 and I am just stamping more of that and build up the colour and then I'm going back over with my big fluffy brush just to blend it out. I just want to make sure that this red is really intensely pigmented and then once I'm happy with that I'm going in with the pink shade Baby Girl and I'm just buffing that over the top of the red just to blend out the crease colour and give it a really nice soft blend. I didn't want anything too harsh, you know I do not like a harsh line. Then we're going with Red Velvet which is from the Goddess and the Go palette and I'm just using that to deepen the crease a little bit. It's not a huge, much darker than 666, but it just helps to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of gradient, so that any darker colours, I've got something really nice to blend into. I'm using that on a smaller brush just to give it a little bit more precision. Then I'm mixing the Fine Wine and the 70% shades in the Ultimate Goddess palette, and I'm using them mixed together just to really deepen up my crease. I want to make sure that I've got a really deep crease so that any colour I put on top is really going to contrast nicely. And then I'm just going back in with the previous shade, the 666 on a fluffy brush and blending that out. And I'm using my powder brush just to kind of help elongate the eye shape. It's a really good trick if you want to do that one without a shadow look. Then I'm going in with some of the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in the white shade, Halo. I'm just putting a little bit of that on the centre of my lid, just to kind of inner third, blending it out with my finger and then using a fluffy brush just to really press it in. I want this to be quite thin and I don't want it to be too sharp or structured, so a fluffy brush is great because it won't let the product move too far away, it will still stay really strong. And then I'm taking the shade Kisses on my finger and I'm putting that all over that white base. This is a really nice purple shade, it is the only shade that I struggled to get really good colour payoff from right away. I don't know, maybe I should have used a wet or a different brush but when I build it up it looks really nice anyway so it's okay. And then I'm taking some more of that shade 666 mixed with red velvet and I'm using that just to blend the shimmery colour into the matte outer half of my eye just for a really nice gradient and no harsh line and I like to just kind of make sure the two colours blend really nicely so layering up the mattes and the shimmers and then I'm just making sure to really darken up the outer corner of my eye and then just taking 
kind of mixture of all the colours I used in the crease and running them along my lower lash line just with a really small pencil brush and bringing that into the wing just to make sure the top and the bottom of my eye are nicely connected. We don't want there to be any sort of difference in shape. I felt like doing a pop of colour in my waterline so I used this MAC eye pencil, it's a pink one, I can't remember the name, I just did that right in my waterline and just used that to give it a really nice pop of colour. And then I took the shade Glossy as my inner eye highlight, so using that on the top and bottom of the inner corner of my eye, just to make the inner eye super popping. And then I am using my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on my lashes, and then once I have got my lashes looking super thick and super black, I'm taking my favourite doll lashes at the moment, these are called the Style Gloria, and putting them on. For lips, I'm just going to go with a typical nude, so this is the MAC Cover Lip Pencil. I'm just using this to outline my lips and give them some definition and then fading it in over the lips. Then I'm going in with literally my new favourite nude lipstick. It is super, super, super nude. It is called Bare Bling by MAC. It's one of their new nudes. I won't lie, it is kind of foundation lippy at first. But once you put it in and kind of mesh it with your lip liner, it gives you a really nice kind of... Still foundation lips, but really nice. And then on top of that, I'm using this Revolution Dual Lip Topper in the shade Exquisite. I think it was kind of like a gloss, but it's not super sticky. It was actually really nice. So I just put a little bit of that on my lips and made sure to press it together just so that I've got a really glossy, wet, nude looking lip. Yeah, so I'm so happy how this look turned out. I really, really like the colours that I went for today. I am proud of myself for not going for the usual warm browns and golds because, you know, that is kind of what I go for most of the time. So to, to be good today, I'm quite proud of myself, to be honest. If I had to pick a favourite, I don't know if I could. The bigger one, which was £15, has got a lot more colours in it, so you do have all the kind of warm tones and you've got the pinks and stuff as well. So you've got a really nice options here and I really like the cheap colours in this, but there was something about this little Goddess on the Go palette that I really liked with these two, the Get It Poppin' and the Golden Hour. They were really, really nice too, and I think this is a really handy one for, like, if I was going away for it overnight and I wanted to just pack one palette, I know I could do a couple of looks with this that I would come in handy and I've got the bronzer and the highlighter too. The face powders were actually really nice in both these, the bronzers and the highlighters. I really like them. I um, like the highlighters a lot, of course. So it's actually so warm in here and I need to just have another little spray because I'm feeling super dehydrated. I want to just feel a little bit more hydrated. Um, yeah, so I really like this look. I hope you guys liked it too. If you guys want to see more from me, I promise I will try and be a little bit more consistent with the filming. Um, make sure you hit subscribe below. Give this video a big thumbs up. If I'm posting this on Twitter, Instagram, etc., please tag Revolution in the comments. Please tag Rachel Lee so she sees it too. And yeah, before you go, hit subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. Let me know if you like these kind of videos with the voiceover or you prefer me kind of chatting as I go, which is what I normally would do, but obviously today the weather had other ideas. And yeah, you can hit me up on my usual social media, so it'll be in the usual place somewhere up here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.